Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today in day 3, part 2, we will talk about a string and characters with subjects of uh, strings or value types working with uh, characters concatenating uh, strings and also a string interpolation, I believe. Yeah, uh, we can start uh, a playground. Uh, for sure you know how we can do it. File, new, and playground and the rest. We will choose blank and we, uh, we will make that one. I already made that one. So let's go back to our uh, document. So uh, strings are value types. What this means? Swift strings type is value type. If you, uh, m uh, This means that if you create a new string value, that string value is copied when it it's passed to a function or method or when it's assigned to a constant or variable. In each case, a new copy of existing string value is created and the new copy is passed or assigned. So this is the key point, not the original version. So if we change the new copy, the original not gonna change. If we change original version, the new copy will not change. This is means uh, the, it is value type and uh, yeah uh, so uh, just uh, I just add in that uh, in behind the scene Swift compiler at the beginning use same address but it is a copy on write method so it means that it's use same address as long as uh, new copy or original copy change as long as one of them change then it's gonna be a separate address so by this way uh, uh, in a uh, lots of copies that we don't need to uh, you know uh, you know use memory uh, and uh, even process okay yeah, so let's go for the next subject working with characters so as we uh, said in the uh, beginning uh, and a string is a group of characters. Here we can see how it is. Exactly it is. Okay, let's go to our playground. Here you will see I run this loop and you will see that this is gonna be my output and it's exactly a character. So if I option click on this, you will see this is a character. So just uh, split this to, uh, you know, characters. Also, uh, if I go back to documentation, here you will see that I say let exclamation uh, mark type of uh, character equal exclamation mark. So, uh, yeah, this one is a character as well. Or uh, we can uh, even create a, an array of uh, characters and with string initializer as an input uh, I get I give it uh, this array and then output will be an string okay let's uh, check it out in our playground so here this one uh, let me show you yeah this is a character and here this is an array of our characters and uh, here is a string uh, initializer a unicode a string value that uh, is a collection of characters so uh, it gets uh, this one a series of character and output will be an string so here you will see and here we print it out so you will see that we, it's uh, printed as a, an, a string so and this is an a string yeah so it is how easy we can make a character, a series of character of a string or a reverse. This is how we work with uh, strings in Swift. Okay, so concatenating strings and characters. So uh, how will we we'll do that? It's pretty easy uh, in Swift. You just uh, use uh, plus sign or additional operators and uh, then output will be Plus of those, even uh, you can uh, use uh, uh, dual operators or multi operators like this. That we in operators uh, just in day two we uh, uh, discussed that. Uh, you can use this as well. Uh, let try it out in uh, 
playground so here you will see I have this string and this string so this welcome will be hello tree uh, you know just addition of this and this like a two number gonna add it out and here you will see this is an string look over so I add a string two to that look over there yeah let's see yeah look over there uh, with this operators we made it out uh, okay and uh, but uh, we have append as well uh, for uh, yeah we can append a character like this to our uh, strings so here you will see we append this but uh, you need to know that we cannot append to a character because it's only one character we cannot append but with, with a string we can append so it works exactly like this Okay, and uh, yeah, the, the other uh, subject is yeah, about multi line, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, literal. So you, here you will see I uh, make one and two, and I made end three. So when I add these two, you will see I have this, uh, you know, next line here at the end of the one I have next line here at the end uh, but at the end of the two there is no next line because this next line uh, this is just part of definition multi uh, line so just pick up this one uh, for a value so if you want to uh, have a you know next line you need to put one blank line just in part one we discussed this and here you will see now there is a uh, next line here okay a string interpolation it's uh, last subject uh, so probably so far you saw this that uh, we use backslash parentheses open and close and one variable in there so this is a string interpolation uh, that we uh, you know we have a you know one uh, mm, string we want uh, and inside that string we want to inject another string so we use this backslash open parenthesis and close parenthesis and uh, yeah let's uh, see how it's work here we go so uh, this message if I look at it you will see three times two that five is seven point so yeah, here you see this is an a string actually this is an integer yes uh, so I have uh, actually it's string interpolation with a string interpolation I inject uh, you know one variable this could be a string this could be integer this could be even uh, you know uh, double uh, and you will see I convert this uh, to double with double initializer later you will see any uh, type uh, with uh, name of that type and open and close parentheses you can uh, use it as an initializer so and then I make this one yeah here you go and uh, this is uh, string interpolation you will use this a lot and here's the expression you write inside parentheses with the interpolated string so uh, technically we say this one is interpolated string can't contain an unescaped backslash so uh, name it, uh, it cannot be uh, you know one unescaped backslash, or a carriage return or a line feed however they can contain other string literals so this is the important point you need to know okay so you need good, uh, gonna be uh, our uh, you know discussion subject for part three and uh, that's it uh, for this part I hope you like it if you like it please make sure to give a thumbs up also uh, don't forget to be subscribed for more videos coming every day and uh, ask any question if you have in comments uh, I will be more than happy to help I wish the best for you and have a good one Bye-bye.